Okay, we'll wait for um, who are we missing? Otto, yeah. Um, I'm gonna start screen sharing. If he joins, I'll let him in. So let's see. Okay. So I've never actually done a showed a video before on Zoom, so I want to see if this works. So let's see. Let me let it first load. Those were our R sounds and T sounds. Can you guys first uh, see the screen? Yes, okay. Yes, okay. And are you able to hear me properly? Because it says like my system is weird. No, we can hear you, okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna play this video, and I'm first gonna explain what this video is, and I want to know if this works. So basically, at the beginning of class, the, not this class, the beginning of the entire training, I talked about how there is no such thing as an American accent. There is not an American accent because everyone has their own accent, right? They're, everyone sounds different. Everyone speaks different. And especially in America, there are 50 states in America, right? There are 50 different states in America and each state has a different, slightly different accent, I would say. Each state has a slightly different accent. For example, if you are from the South of America, you are going to sound kind of different compared to someone from the North. Like if you come from the South, a state in the South of America is called Louisiana. If, you, if you're from Louisiana, I can tell that you're from Louisiana because of the way you speak. There's a difference. If you're from, let's say, um, Connecticut, right? Connecticut, I used to live in Connecticut. It's in the north of the United States map. You might sound a little different compared to a Louisiana person from Louisiana. There's a difference. So then what exactly is American accent? I can't really give you a definition, but these people, this video is basically people from 50 different, all 50 different states in America and how they sound. They, Though there's a difference between how they speak, you can generalize them in the American accent category. So, different But you can tell. You can tell that they're from America. You can tell that they're from America, but they all sound different. So let's play this video. Hopefully it works. Let me know if you can hear it when it plays. Oh, Aka, no, we can't hear it. Actually, you didn't share sound. Oh, wait. Yeah, Aka, we can't hear the sound. Yeah, so, Aka, you should just stop screen sharing one minute. Okay, then how are you going to hear it, though, if I stop screen sharing? How are you going to see this? Yeah, you, got, uh, you got to do it again. You got to share again. But Okay, let me try this. Yeah, click share, and then in the top, I mean, bottom left, there'll be share audio. Oh, okay. share sound. Okay, yeah, I do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, now it will be audible. Okay. Yeah, let me share again. Let me know this time. Let's... I never thought yeah. I had an accent, but everyone else told me I did, it? so I never... Yeah, yes. Okay, let me turn on the subtitles because these people speak really fast, so I want to put subtitles on so it can help you. Are you able to see the subtitles? Yep. Yes, okay. okay, let me play this and let me make this bigger. Nope, I can't make it bigger. That's fine. I never thought I had an accent, but everyone else told me I did. So I never really understood my accent. But we say soda pop and that was weird, I guess. The great thing about Oklahoma- So real quick, so you see these state, of... Oklahoma is a state in America. So they're gonna bring 50 different people from 50 different states. So the first person is from Oklahoma and this is how she speaks a whole bunch of different parts of the country. So the, the northern part of the state is really like the plains, so people kind of have that flat Iowa accent. People always know I'm from the Midwest when I say bagel. But if you get down south to the Little Dixie portion, it has a much more of a southern drawl. Elongating those vowels a little bit. And okay, 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 okay. I need to go back. How y'all oh, doing? It's not... Oops, let's see. Let's go to the person where... Louisiana person. Let me stop. Off to the Little Dixie portion. It has a much saying y'all every sentence. Okay. So, people from the South, 
when I was talking about how the Southern people sound so different, it is true. So if you're from the South, you can hear them. So people from the South, they, especially from Louisiana, they say the word y'all a lot. Y'all, y'all. So this person is from Mississippi. He's from Mississippi. He's also a Southern state. Look at how he sounds. Let me go a little back. What about Texas? People from Texas? What did you say? No, what about people from Texas? They use that a lot, right? I think they do. No. Texas is also yeah. the Southern portion. You'll hear Texas coming soon. But this is Mississippi. Look at how he speaks. What are y'all doing today? Y'all want to go to Waffle House? Come on over. We'll go to Waffle House. It's just like real round in your mouth. So those three states that were coming up, they're all from the South, and they all say y'all a lot. Y'all coming today? Y'all going there today? I sometimes use the word y'all too, but not as much as people from Louisiana who are like, they use it like every sentence you can, as they're speaking. And you're just like, hey y'all, how are we doing tonight? Um, are you guys gonna go down to the game this weekend? I'm so excited. Like Joshua's doing real great this year. Everybody talks really slow, especially compared to New Yorkers. Most New Yorkers are loud. You gotta fit your way into a conversation most often times when you're in New York. Vermont's accent is uh, very unique and it's hard to slip into unless you're talking to another person who like grew up farming. But the phrase that I can say in my accent is always, oh sure bud. Oh, sure. People from California kind of have like, they say like. Colorado doesn't really have a typical accent. Lots of people say that it has no accent, but you'll definitely get called out if you say Colorado. It's Colorado. So I've been told from people in New York that my state has an accent. Some people go Chicago. I don't think we do. Okay, so I am really from little. Ohio. So this is where I'm from. So this is how they speak. But in between, kind of sound like this. Some people in New Mexico have accents, depending on what part of the state you're from. People in the South tend to sound a little bit more like they could be from Texas. Really wide syllables, really kind of drawn out phrases. It's a little sing-songy, like a little bit Valley Girl almost. I'm from New Mexico, and I love eating burritos. You want to go skiing up on mountain? Pass me those taters. <laughs> I don't know, I mean like there's cowboys. You know, there's horses. I don't know them, because I don't feel like I have an accent. I went home a couple of years ago and was watching home videos of my sister and I, and we had to like do a weather forecast as like little kids, and we'd be like, there's a big hurricane coming from the, the left coast, but don't worry, because we don't know that it's coming. And people would be like, what are you saying? I can put on the, you gotta park the con hop, yeah, and give the god a quarter for some chowder. That's it. Okay, I have no idea what she just said. She, she said something, I have no idea what she said, but I think she's just trying to say, pronounce um, the way she would speak. I don't think those were actually words. Okay. There's a standard Boston accent right there. Any E-R would have an A-H at the end. It's kind of like Boston, but cooler and a bit more drunk. Like, we gotta go up to Baja, but I get some lobster supper. My mom has this kind of strange, half French Canadian, half Boston accent that sounds like peanut characters. Womp womp. Oh, if you're from North Dakota, you've got some long O's. Oh yeah, you betcha. Yeah, hang on to your R's a little too. It gets a little bit thicker the older you are. Your grandma sounds a little bit like this. Your mom might be a little bit softer. I'm from Wisconsin. Go pack, go. It kind of gets like up here. Go pack. I say bag. bag. I have some eggs and a beak. The best example of the Wyoming accent I feel like I've ever seen was in Brokeback Mountain. One curve in the road and they missed it. So if you live in Washington State, no one ever says they have an accent. They all think they speak pretty normal, which is kind of true. Just kind of middle of the road. Sort of like Delaware itself. But they also kind of have like a country hit kind of thing to them. So they'll say like, Washington, like I'm gonna wash my hands. And you're like, wash? What kind of a word is that? We pronounce our T's as D's, so we say like Connecticut instead of Connecticut. I feel like Michigan's typical accent um, is very nasally. Hi, like that type of vibe. So if I'm from like Northside Kauai, I'm going to sound something like this. People say that us Marylanders have accents, but I don't think we have an accent. Idaho doesn't have a really distinct accent. There's no accent in Indiana. This might be very biased, but I don't think we, I really don't think we have an accent. I don't hear it, but I get reminded of it when I travel. I mean, I, I think this is normal. It's a perfect neutral Pacific Northwest tone. Sarah Palin does not have a typical Alaska accent. She's not really from there. She grew up in, I don't know, Kansas or something. My husband laughs at me because I say wolf instead of wolf. Our accents are all over the place. The first one that comes to my head is a Latino one. Me voy a coger un cortadito. <laughs> There's the St. Louis accent where we say certain things like quarters and water. Where I'm from, they like to say Haina or Mayan. 
That shirt over there is my end. From Philly, they like to say wooder and use guys. But in Pittsburgh, instead of use guys, they say yins. What are yins doing? North Carolina is, is it's, it's an interesting accent. It's just got a little bit of a drawl. It's a little lazier. Just very slow pace, very good, very nice. There's Charleston, in South Carolina, which is more like this. It's more smooth. Yeah, might have a daughter named Darcy. And then you got the real squealy, squealy southern accent. And then you just got the very just, hey, how you doing? God bless. You have a good day now. OK, so the whole purpose of that was to just show you guys how every state has a different accent. Some of them are like, oh, I don't think we have an accent. No, they do. They do. It's just not that noticeable but you can tell like if someone from louisiana is speaking you can tell that they're from louisiana their accent is very distinct so the part whole purpose was that american accent is very broad there's a lot of different types of american accent but all these people when they spoke you can tell that they're from america because of the way they speak but it, the way they speak also lets you know where they're exactly from america the, the person that was from Louisiana that was like, y'all, y'all, y'all all the time, you can be like, oh, they're somewhere from the South, probably Louisiana because of how much they say the word y'all a lot, right? So that's all the purpose was. Let's see, what's the next one? I never thought I had an accent, but everyone else told me I did. There we go. Um, we only have two minutes. So I might say this for our next lesson, which is probably gonna be our last lesson. Um, let's see. Let me start sharing. Okay. So do you guys notice like the differences like with different states? Were you guys able to notice that? This is Auntie. <laughs> Sherman, don't call me Auntie. I'm like, Yaka. <laughs> I thought you called me Auntie before. I was like, don't call me Auntie. <laughs> I'm only I'm only 11th grader. I'm only 16. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so next class is probably going to be our last class. So um, see you guys next week, okay? Bye. Bye, Aka. Good night. Good night. Or good morning for you. <laughs>